Hello and welcome. This technology committee video is going to help you learn a little bit more about project-based learning and various projects you could use in the classroom to help your students collaborate. We're going to start with a few examples that could be used in classrooms to help students learn to work in groups together. This is an example of a research project I was able to assign to one of my classes. After they completed reading a memoir, they had to do research on history and some aspects of the book that required research. They were able to choose their own topic and then they had to prepare a four to five minute presentation to show to the class. This allowed them to practice their public speaking spill, uh, skills as well as their research skills. This is a presentation that students uh, gave in my class and as you can see the students were able to create a slideshow to present to the class. Luckily, the Google platform allows students to share the presentation with, with one another so that they could edit simultaneously. Further, students can comment on each other's work with the feature on the right hand um, section of the screen and they can comment on each other's work and leave each other questions as they work and collaborate together in class. Beyond sharing the project with one another, the students could also share their projects on Google Classroom. They could receive a get a shareable link option once they uh, click on share and they can post their link on Google Classroom for the rest of the class to be able to view their final product. This is an example of a list I gave students and the list allows them to choose what project they want to complete in order to show their knowledge of the content on Google Slides. As you can see, students were allowed to create their project on Google Slides and I was able to give students various options, some of which are creating their own newspaper, creating their own website, or creating a comic book that deals with the characters in the story. Students could also cre create a timeline. All these projects can be easily completed on Google Classroom and this allows the teachers to give the students a little bit of freedom as to what they can demonstrate in the classroom. As students work together on projects, teachers want to definitely make sure that students are responsible for their part of the project and that they are all contributing in an equal way. The Google See History option allows a teacher to see how long students have worked on a document or a presentation. This allows the teacher to hold students accountable for their part of the work. Beyond Google Classroom, beyond Google Slides, teachers could also use interesting websites to help students create projects. These are instructions for a Powtoon project. This website allows teachers to um, have students present many movies that they can create on various topics. They could collaborate together to help create a mini movie that could be shown in class. Powtoon was used here by my students last year to create mini movies showing the conclusion of Macbeth. I was able to have students recreate the story in their own words by having them use the website. And this is a sample of student work. The doctor watched as she slept while Mrs. Macbeth rested about Macbeth. Pretty much she goes crazy. I guess she had a kid's conscience. I wonder why. As we had to see to, a bunch of fames joined Malcolm and the English army to plan the next move of the awful and tiring Big Ben. We need to join forces with the Scottish army. The website shows that the students created a voiceover in a British accent and then they proceeded to retell the story of Macbeth in their own words using animation and using music in the background. To conclude, the Powtoon presentations allowed students to show their knowledge of the text while being creative and collaborating with one another. Before teachers have students collaborate in the classroom, they can consider how the students are going to be grouped and they could be grouped according to strengths and weaknesses and teachers could measure which students would work best together. 
I personally choose to have students group before they commence their work and I have the groups posted on the board just to make um, the transition into group work a little bit more organized and to have students get started right away. Once student work is completed, I personally use rubrics to assess the student projects. This is an example of a rubric that I posted on Google Classroom for students to view. I usually post the rubric before students start work on their project just so that they could see how they're going to be graded. The teacher should definitely consider the requirements that are important for the project before assigning the the projects and students should definitely be aware of the requirements that they need to complete in order to do well on their assignment. I hope that this video was helpful and I hope that it gave you some ideas on some projects that you can assign your class. Thank you for watching this technology committee video. If you have any questions please feel free to approach anyone on the technology committee or feel free to attend a help desk. Thank you very much.